Ladies and gentlemen. Gah is bored. Gah. Oh, he's dead. Uh, we're back. I have learned many things. Uh, you can only carry four of the bullion from these guys at one time. I have turned in all that I want. And I'm going to grab two more here real quick. Because. Guy here with his new claws. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, we should check this other thing out too. Uh, yeah, 20 minutes, maybe 30. I was kind of halfway watching a movie. And then... You ever, you ever be watching a movie? You ever be just watching a movie? And, like, all of a sudden, the volume for the movie is, like, super low compared to everything else you're doing? <coughs> well, my movie is super low volume. So... I had to turn the sound off here and... Probably would have been quicker to go the other way. But then, maybe not. Excuse me. Not you. Would have been quicker to go the other way. Wah. You. That better be enough, or I'll kill you. Oh, my memory just cleared up. The rebel army leader is named Venutolo, or something. Anyway, he likes dwarf handiwork. Try bringing a piece to the guards. I just bet it gets you in. Really? Okay. I can tell you that, ladies and gentlemen, I am not pleased with the goings on. Good old corporal minor gym down there. Yep. Oh well. At least I don't remember this being dangerous. I thought, oh no, I broke it. It won't scroll anymore. <coughs> I think there were a couple of mummies. Right? Like that one. Eh. Whoa, I forgot about you. I liked you guys better as Final Fantasy IX enemies. Oh no. As soon as I did it, I realized it was wrong. <coughs> it's my bad. Well, we can look at the magic shield. And how a male here actually has, like, sensible shoes. Nothing else is sensible. Maybe the headband. I thought he was farther away. Dang, damn it. And her defense is supposed to be really good. Is he this way? No. Thank you. 
let's go ahead and switch to Tat. Because Tat's got healths. We like healths. There's the door. Does it look like we should fight a boss here to you? Hi there. What brings you back here so soon? Well, Glug, I have a special problem and I need your help with it. I was wondering if you might spare one of your trinkets. I'm in desperate need of one. A trinket? Oh, you mean one of my skilled arts and creations. I'd be happy to give you one. But why do you want one of those? You see, the rebel army has closed the very passage I must travel through to continue my mission. But I've heard their leader has a special fondness for dwarf crafts. Though I detest bribery in any form, I'm afraid in this case, it's my only alternative. Well, you're a good friend of Slick's, and those are hard to find. Okay, I'll give you one. Here, take this one. It's one of my very favorite pieces. Honestly? You're, you're not joking? Oh, Glug, I really don't know how to thank you. Be very careful with that trinket, though. All dwarf crafts have hidden powers. Does it sound to you... And I, I realize the, what I'm about to say. Does it sound to you like Glug's lines were just recorded in somebody's living room? <laughs> and again, I realize what I'm about to say. Mine are recorded in a bedroom. Well, it's supposed to be a bedroom. It's my office. Hold on. Hold on. Clear. Mail. Heal. Yes. Leave. Hey, look at that gold. 35, 5, 55. Oh, we should, um, item. Look at that. This is... This is what is, what's the what is it the Pokemon with the Durani I don't know Darunia that's the one the Pokemon Darunia it knows backslap and fanciful jig it's weak to water You can't pass through here! Oh, I know that! I brought a gift for your leader. See? But I have to give it to him personally. Alright then. Wait right here! I thought we were talking to the guy in front. The chief wants to see you right away. Get in there! Clearly not the same guy. Oh! Ooh, very nice! Thank you, peasant, for your oh-so-humble gift. By the way, I'm Clavadin Clotsnipper, Lethal Biffle, Poopy Woof, and Bun Bun, your crack and lick the ratchet face, the 14th feudal lord of Oderberg. But you can call me Lord Venuncio. How do you say that without biting your tongue? Oh, enough about me. Too much Venuncio could be bad for your health. <laughs> say... You seem to be one who expects big rewards for good work. I was thinking, do you want to join our cause? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Oh, that's such a shame. We could have used your help recovering the treasure. Treasure? Did you say treasure? Yes, you see, we of the Rebel Army are planning a heist of about three tons of gold. In fact, there's a strategy meeting taking place very soon. Hmm, too bad you can't make it. Three tons? Tons? Woohoo! Sign me up! Ah, my eager new friend. Right this way. I think I need to tweak my noise gate. My chair squeaks and it thing goes off. Is just ahead. We'd better hurry. I don't trust you, purple man. I don't see anyone here. What are you talking about? <gasps> what, what's going on here, Venencio? If that is your name. <laughs> you are 
are so gullible. There's a reward of three million gold on your little group's heads. Or didn't you know that? <laughs> you can't expect me to let that go now, can you? Say what? Oh, don't play coy with Venuncio. I know that you are the three that destroyed Bountyville. Muttonhead told me all about you. Muttonhead? Ooh, if I get my hands on that lying old windbag, I'll wring his neck. Your pretty little corpses are going to finance my whole revolution. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. Your fate is sealed. All that's left is for you to die. And for posterity's sake, I do hope you die gracefully. <laughs> I can't save. Huh. Looks like we got us some uh, platforming to do. Crumbling. What do we do? Oh, thank goodness for God. Guess we'll just have to die. I didn't know I could kill him. I mean, I really have no idea. Holy crap. I mean, we're not going to keep this. I'm just going to run around and see. I, yeah, we're going to reload. That's real crap of you, game. Not letting me save. Okay. Back here we are, then. What would you have done in that situation? We would have just hung out and died and lost all our items. I ain't doing that. Player mail. Okay. That's how we handle that. Pardon me. Yeah, not getting me that time. Okay, you might. Hey! You know it would be nice if enemies could drop, like, ammo. Oh, 
I take a little ammo. Don't you think that'd be all right? Especially since we're in all these, uh, weapons that, you know, we have to shoot with. Kept the bounce face through all of that. Okay. Right. Climbing, 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 climbing. Glammy, 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 glammy. Let's save right there. And let's save state right there. Unfortunately, we're going to have to listen to all that jibber-jabber again, but we'll fast-forward through it. What is your name? <laughs> you are so gullible. There's a reward of... Blah, 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 blah. Maybe we can... I mean, I don't know if that's something that we have to do. It seems like it would be silly. Destroyed the happy flames of death. Passage is opened. Okay, great. Get me out of the fire. <laughs> no! Ah. Nope. Absolutely not. We're going to jump to the other side, start there, and work our way back. That's exciting. What are you talking about? That's where we'll make our save. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, Blair. Ah. I do like the name, Happy Flames of Death. care for the hitbox on those things. Now we can save. And we'll do save state. Can't go in that door. So we'll go back this way. No. 
can't open the... Oh, that was weird. Couldn't open the menu either. Flames of death, hmm? What a clever feat for such a simple mind. Now then, if you know what's good for you, you'll stay where you are. You mustn't come any closer. If you do, it could be extremely detrimental to your health. But God will not fall for your tricks two times. Ugh. <laughs> it's not like I didn't warn you. I just had this installed. How do you like it? Tell me, were you truly surprised? <laughs> oh, I just kill myself. Uh, I guess God will fall for your tricks twice, but not three times. Dip, save, dip, nope. Are there going to be more happy flames of death to deal with? Go down. This wall looks different. Maybe it's just me. It wasn't much of a much of a trick, was it? Or a trap? Oh no! Simple platforming. you're here yeah sure thing I, I was surprised to see you too I, I just finished work and was heading back to my village if you're going to your village I'll go with you say who's that hiding behind you bah. of course <laughs> uh, hi there Ga. why do you keep showing up all you bring is trouble uh, you're right. I, I should go. Bye. Wait! Don't come running away, you big yellow-bellied wuss. You can go with us to Glug's village. Oh! Oh, no! No! Hey! What's with all the fire? What'd you do, Slick? My village was attacked while I was gone. <laughs> it's not here. They took it. Oh no. What? What's not here? The guardian, the mithril guardian. It's the protector of our sanctuary, and the source of all our mithril. Mithril? What's that? Oh, great! If they have the mithril guardian, the magical powers it contains could ruin us all. Yes, if they figure out how to use it, we're all sunk. Glug, they took all our mithril. You must stop them. Oh no, Raffi! Raffi, hold on! It had to be them. They wanted the mithril, and now they've got it. Who are you talking about? It was the rebel army. You mean Venancio? That no-good slug licker's gone too far this time! Just leave it to me. God will find that turd-smoking coward and get your mithril back. Oh, God, such language. What do you have to say for yourself? I don't like how little health God has. Zoth Shrine. That's a lot of fire. 
Did you guys notice all the fire? There's a lot of it. <coughs> tempted. I was tempted. Oh no, it's a Sonic stage. It's Marble Zone. Oh, of course. Hey, you found an apple. Yep, just go. Just go, ga. Go, ga, go, ga. Oh, no. Well, hello again. Apparently, some people just don't know when to quit. Holy cow! It's Valencio! God will stop you! Just wait! <laughs> oh my god! Such hostility! No need for that! You're just in time! What? <laughs> so glad you could join us! For your dying pleasure this evening, we've selected a pressed hero a la rouge. And now, behold, the awesome power of Mithril! Gah! Behold me soiling my shorts! <laughs> Oh great, it's the Mithril Guardian. Yeah, we can't save. You know what that means? Plunk. Alright, where to go? What? What was that? That's not very nice. Oh, and I'm out of bullets. Out of bullets! Blunk. Ooh, double hit. Didn't do any damage, though. Getting health back. How are you getting health back? Holy crap! Uh, it's not just me, his health is going back up. See, he's got five. Now he's got zero. Now he's got ten. Now I can't hit him. Now he's got five again. mess. Buddy? What? How come we didn't get health? It's because may because he had full health? Oh, it better not be. If that's the case, that is that is dumb. That's what that is. Oh, more Sonic stuff. I've just... Yeah, that was all guess on my part. It's a little act razor -y too. What's over here? Some stars. Oh. <laughs> I found you. You're mine, you little. 
gaping puddle of baby fat. And who, may I ask, are you, sir? I'm your worst nightmare, your scariest dream, your sexiest enemy. I'm the master of all I survey. Cower in fear before my fearsome manliness. Well, you are quite the impressive speaker, but as for inspiring fear, you seem to fall a bit short. Listen to me now and fear me pretty soon. I am no kindergarten cop. The sissy man Fernandio could not teach you a lesson, so I have come to terminate you. I am the predator and you are my prey. This little skirmish will be your last action, hero person. It's Judgment Day. Aha! Now I'm beginning to piece it together. So you are the mastermind behind Lord Venuncio and all the strange golem creatures. Oh, the little infant has a brain. How impressive. You are such a smart baby with the skinny arms. When did you graduate from party school? Let me tell you something, punky chops. I am Sventy Uncommon. Remember that before I crush your brain like a tiny juicy raisin. Oh no, Sven attacks. Let's save. What? Oh dear. I'm expecting, yeah, I was expecting a dash. And you know, you just know that if I start walking towards him, he's gonna come and get me. Maybe you can make him fall off the edge. Spin. There you are. Honestly, I didn't think that was going to work. Okay. Let's... Let's load. Now that I have a better idea what I'm doing. Oh. Should have did a save state. Thought about it. Let's let Mail talk to him. <laughs> I, well, look, do I need to say it? No. No, I don't. You know. Aw. I was hoping. Guess we'll stick with Tat then. But all the, all the attacks we can block except the dash, so. Not taking that. Go changing it up on me, last minute. All right, dude. Now how did we put together that he was the guy behind the golems and everything just from that conversation? That's what I want to know. And really, we got a last action hero reference after the Chuck Woolery one? Oh, it's because I ducked.
This will be the last thing we do in this episode, I think. You know, I wish either we did a little more damage or they had a little less health, because sometimes these boss fights... They're either hard or they're long. I know what I said. I'm going to do something really stupid here. Told you. I tried to jump. She didn't want to. Sven is history. Sorry, Sven. I changed. Cause that, yeah. I think I have underestimated the power of soup. Watch me die now and believe it later. <laughs> okay. Save state. Save game. Goodbye.